Hello viewers, welcome to my channel IIT JLM PRs and AP Physics with Ambarish and uh, in today's video I have brought a very interesting challenge from Quanta magazine and uh, it turns out that this problem has been copied in various places, it's a famous problem and uh, this problem is regarding maximize, maximizing the overhang uh, of a stack of blocks, okay. So let me read out the problem for you. So here's the problem, refer to the figure. The classic overhang problem stipulates that all the blocks must be homogeneous, identical in shape and size and have a length of one unit. So we have a collection of blocks and each block has got a length of one unit, okay. There can be only one block at every level of the stack and none of the blocks can be bound or glued or attached to one another in any way. So they are just placed over uh, one another and there's no gluing or anything like that, okay. There's no bond as such, okay. If you had five such blocks, what is the maximum horizontal distance that the tip of the top block can be made to project past the edge of the table? So let's say this is the table. So we are interested in maximizing this overhanging distance from the edge of the table to the right edge of the top block. Okay. And can you derive a formula for maximum overhang possible for n blocks? Okay. So if you want, you can give it a try. I'll get into my analysis right away. So uh, one thing is clear, you see. Uh, for any block to uh, be stable, uh, for any block not to topple, you know that the center of mass of this block should not overhang beyond the uh, right edge of the block just below it, right? So if you want to maximize the overhang of a single block, let us say, so what's the maximum possible value? You know that you cannot make it overhang more than L by 2. Why? Because if it hangs more than L by 2, center of mass comes beyond this edge and that because of torque that block will topple. So one thing is clear that uh, and uh, for each block you can see uh, for this block the whole thing below this is serving as the table and for these two blocks if you consider as the system then the, this, this thing serves as the table okay. For these three blocks the lower three blocks plus the table serves as the table okay. So anything below that uh, below any particular block the whole thing acts like a table for that right. So we'll be using this idea and we'll then solve this problem using uh, some of these ideas so let's see. So we can visualize that for portion of stack above a particular block, then the portion of stack plus table below that block acts like table, as I said. For example, up till yellow block, you can see that this table plus the red block, this acts, the, this whole thing acts like table for the system above that, okay. We shall solve the problem by trying to form a recursion relation in addition, uh, recursion relation in additional overhang achievable addition by addition of one more block. For example, let's say I have already placed five blocks and I want to add one more block and for uh, ease of uh, visualization, instead of adding a block at the top, imagine that I am going to add a block below the whatever stack we have achieved. For example, if I have put the blue block, then after blue block, I will be putting this uh, uh, pink block or uh, magenta block and after this magenta block, I will be placing one block below every block and uh, we'll try to uh, shift the stack a little by little as I keep on adding the blocks, okay. So uh, okay, so we'll try to uh, solve the problem by trying to form a recursion relation in additional overhang. So with each addition of one more block, we'll be able to shift the whole thing by a little bit and I'll try to find out what is the additional shift I can achieve by adding one more block, okay. And then uh, using that recursion relation, I'll be able to find out the total uh, overhang possible for n blocks, okay. So, uh, okay, by, uh, so recursion relation in additional overhang achievable by addition of one more block. So for example, let us say I have the optimal arrangement till yellow block and now I want to place the red block. And let us say because of the red block, the additional overhang achievable is let us say x. So up till yellow block, there is some overhang achievable and uh, uh, if you shift the red block by some amount x then uh, some more overhang is uh, achievable and of course this yellow block is also uh, extending a little bit beyond this uh, 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 this red block okay so let us say we already have the best stable arrangement for n minus 1 blocks for ease of visualization imagine n minus 1 equal to 5 so let us say i already have this kind of arrangement available for placing the five blocks okay and now i am placing one the red block below this okay so for easy visualization, imagine n minus 1 equal to 5, that is these three 5 blocks, uh, these 5 blocks uh, uh, from uh, blue block to the yellow block in the figure, okay. So from here to here, this uh, we have already placed and now I am putting the red block. Okay? Now we add one more block, say the red block below the arrangement, okay. So I am putting this one. So red can be shifted a little bit and you know that 
this uh, up till yellow block the center of mass of the entire system can not extend beyond the edge of this red block so if you want to maximize the overhang what would you like to do you would like to put the center of mass of this entire thing just above the corner of the red block and uh, also the center of mass of the ent entire system up till the red block this center of mass should be just at the edge of the table why because if it is not at the edge of table let us say it is to the left of right is right to the edge of table is not possible but it is slightly to the left of the table i can always shift the whole thing and bring it to the edge of the table to maximize the overhang right so you know that for the system up till in the case of optimal arrangement for the entire system above the red block center of mass should be just at the edge of the red block and the center of mass the, uh, up, including the red block should be at the edge of the table so that's what i am going to use okay so clearly to maximize the overhang this is supposed to be overhang let me correct this okay the cm of the stack including the red block must be at the edge of the table okay so entire center of mass is at this point okay and by the same logic cm of the stack up to yellow block must be at the edge of the red block so this is the location of center of mass of the stack up till yellow block okay now taking the edge of the table as the origin and translating the above information into a mathematical equation let us say the red block overhangs by a distance x okay and the center of mass of the system above this is over here so total mass up till here is n minus 1m and the red block has got mass m so center of mass of the system above the red block the coordinate of that is x okay and for the red block itself the center of mass is located at the midpoint okay so if uh, red block did not have any overhang the coordinate of center of mass uh, would have been minus l by 2 if l is the length of each block but then instead of minus l by 2 we have also shifted it a little bit by x to the right so it should be minus l by 2 plus x okay and then combined center of mass is uh, m1 uh, r1 plus m2 r2 divided by m1 plus m2 so that's what i have done so for a system of n minus 1 block center of mass is here so n minus 1 into m into x okay plus m times minus l by 2 plus x so this is minus l by 2 and x is uh, shifted to the right so m times minus l by 2 plus x divided by uh, total mass that, that is n times m so this is equal to 0 why because uh, the combined center mass is at the origin itself which is chosen as the edge of the table okay and if you solve this you get a, x is equal to l by 2m so what is this x what's the significance of this x you see this x is nothing but the overhang of the red block so uh, so this is the additional achievable overhang by addition of one more block so till yellow block you had some overhang available and by addition of red block so what was the overhang till yellow block so this length plus this length so cumulative uh, overhang you can add the overhang of each block to get the overhang till yellow block and then you uh, by placing the red block you get an additional overhang of x units right so x happens to be l by 2n so so nth block enables us to get an additional overhang of l by 2n so what about the overhang due to n minus first block you can say l upon 2 into n minus 1 and this way for, for the first block the additional overhang becomes l by 2 uh, n you put n equal to 1 so l by 2 and then for the second it will becomes l by 4 then l by 6 and l by 8 and so on so you see this uh, so thus with add thus with addition of nth block additional overhang is l by 2 n so total achievable overhang with n blocks is summation of additional overhangs with each block okay so that is uh, h is uh, this let us say this h is overhang so h is uh, i varying from 1 to n l upon 2 i so l by 2 you can take common and this is sigma 1 by i so that's our uh, expression for n blocks of course you can now do it for five blocks you can do calculate the summation for five blocks so for our case l is 1 l is not 1 for our case l is uh, uh, yes l is of course one unit because each block was given to be uh, one unit uh, uh, wide okay so uh, instead of l you put one so this is your answer for n blocks 1 by 2 sigma 1 by i okay and for sufficiently large n uh, you can calculate this uh, uh, this happens to be it, it can be approximated by integration of 1 by n you see if you have a graph of 1 by n so this graph will go like this and you want the areas of the uh, histogram so 1 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 and so on if you do that so that area can also be estimated you, uh, as a Riemannian sum of uh, the integration can be expressed as a Riemannian sum of some rectangles 
So using that information, uh, you can also express this. If n is sufficiently large, it can be approximated as uh, log n plus 0.577. It turns out that uh, sigma 1 by n is equal to ln n. Uh, plus 0.577 if n is sufficiently large so uh, it will give you fairly accurate results if suppose n is 10 or 11 or something like that or more than that you'll get start getting uh, pretty accurate results using this formula okay and for the case of five blocks you just add uh, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 and whole thing multiplied by half this, this happens to be 137 by 120 which is also approximately equal to 1.142 so the total overhang with five blocks possible is 137 upon 120 units okay so that was my analysis for the problem uh, i hope you enjoyed the analysis and if you did enjoy the analysis uh, please uh, give a thumbs up to my video first of all and uh, uh, please share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp telegram discord or whatever medium you use for networking with your fellow students and most importantly, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video for uh, all of you frequently. And uh, thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you.